What's up guys? So today I have a different for you style vlog. I am doing an intro for um, this vlog because I had Nehemiah take some recordings while I wasn't here. I need to fill you in though. About a week ago, our mama pig, um, Charlotte, Scarlett actually, she had baby piglets. Immediately the next day after she gave birth to those piglets, and I have a picture of the day that she gave birth. Um, I think it was on a Thursday. Today's actually a Sunday, so they're actually 10 days old. Um, it began raining, so I was not out here kept doing a lot of video. But then last Thursday, so a few days ago, is when you'll see the beginning of this video. Um, we had a friend who studied to be a vet come over and help castrate our pigs. So I'm gonna insert that video now. What's up guys? Welcome to Faith Family Homestead. Today we are catching baby pigs, well the boy baby pigs, to put them inside a cage. Little cute babies. Wow, they're wild ones. That one just kissed me just now. So scary. I don't know. I'm not trying to make any sudden moves. I haven't got scratched up there though. We just have to get one and run. <laughs> you can hold on to it. Run for it. They're a bit wiggly. Oh, yeah, where you at? Okay. Uh, Sorry. Hey, now I think it's good. Hey, real quick, grab a scoop of uh, hog food and just bring it over here real quick. Okay. And fast. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was a close one. Yes. Jay, I see you. They're actually very hard. I can't believe how fast and strong we are right now. The mother pig does not want us to get her babies. Yeah, yeah. I'm put it on pool. What's going to Yeah. At all. Oh God. 
At least she's trying to protect them, I think. Well, she is, that's the thing. That's why I don't want you to get too close, but I don't know what you want to do. Stop. She's doing her job. Ah. Like a face. <laughs> Good job, Naya. Go, Naya. Go, Naya. Go, go, go. That's a boy. Oh, oh. That's a boy. Yeah. Oh, oh. I put it in the cage over there. We took three of her babies. She doesn't need any more babies taken. We got eight boys and one girl. The girl is pink. A lot of boys, huh? All of the boys are right here. Onyx, you think they're a little bacon?
And because pigs change so much, this is what they look like today. Today is actually Sunday. So this is Mama Pig. And then you can see all the babies over there. We did end up with six boys and three girls. So we did castrate all six boys. And we're probably just going to keep two. I'm assuming two at the most. And you can see there's five of them right there. Let me go around and see if I, I can find the rest. I'm assuming they're inside. Yeah, I see them inside. They're hiding. Oh, looks like they all ran back in. And she's being a good mommy. She is feeding her pigs, her baby piggies. That was our first time, obviously, castrating pigs. It was our first time with having baby piglets on the farm. It was really, really exciting experience. I was actually gonna wait till they were eight weeks before we castrated them because that was just what I saw one farm do. And I thought that, that was common practice until um, my friend at church who used to be a vet or she studied to be a vet and she grew up on a farm she said that it's actually common that you can do it as soon as they're born if you want to castrate and the earlier you do it she's like the faster they heal because they have more time um to stay with their mom and to nurse and um they're not as heavy and so it was just a lot of benefits of why um we should castrate early and she was willing to do it for us so she came over and helped us do it which was amazing when you don't jump on me so the puppy she's are out and about <laughs> This is actually Cal's first experience with these chickens. I was like, why don't you want to play? White puppy's just like, let me stay next to these people. I'm like, why don't you want to play? Mommy! What'd you say? That's heavy. That's heavy? Yeah. Oh wow, that's a bunch of eggs. Did you count how many eggs this is? You only got up to 20? Yeah. There's more eggs than that. There's more eggs than that? Come here. Come here. Okay. What are you Mommy, they all like puppies. Mm hmm. This puppy right here we call Cal because he's the only black and white one that only has black and white on his face and nowhere else on his body. He's the biggest one and he follows us. All the rest of them, they're more timid, except for this white girl right here. But see, Cal, Cal comes. It's more the most playful. My cows do too. He knows how to run. He does not run. He's the most playful. This is our only black and white girl right here. Yeah, the only one has gray. It's a boy. Cow. See cows underneath me trying to get my feet. Now that white puppy's alone. That's the same puppy I had to bring outside. Cow. 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 
it runs the opposite way. So our plan with the pigs is to raise, like I said, one or two for ourselves and sell the rest. Um, we did go ahead and castrate all of the boys because we're not we're selling them as meat pigs. The cow's trying to get my feet again. So we're trying to sell them as meat pigs and um, and so that's why we just went ahead and castrated all of them since we had the um, since we were doing it, we had someone to show us to do it, and I'm so grateful that we had someone to show us how to do it because we probably would not have uh, done that correctly if it was just um, us doing it the first time. But they healed really, really fast. They're walking around. They're fine. Um, that was on Thursday, like I said, and today is now Sunday. Um, they're so they're a little over. They're probably a week and a half old. Our puppies are probably. I think this Thursday they'll be about five weeks, so they still have like three more weeks before they can uh, start going to new homes. So if you're interested in a pig or a puppy, definitely let us know. So glad I got to um, show you guys the piggies finally. It's been raining every day that I come out or I think about showing you guys them. Um, and today is like the first day um, that it has not rained. It's actually a cooler day than it's actually a cooler day than um, the most of the other days. The Today, what? Today, there's a puppy between my legs. Today has actually only gone up to 68 degrees where um, all the other days it was going up into the high 70s, almost 80 degree weather. Um, it's so funny that these, the puppies are actually getting their personality and so they're like starting to play. They're like following my feet. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. It spilled. Nia, you're supposed to be helping your sister. Okay, guys. So, finally showed you guys the pigs. I'll have to see you next time. Bye, guys.